So personal trainers of the world, let us propose a question. How much is meal planning worth to your business? I ask this question as there's no surprise that trainers that are not making profits, you know, they are not doing too well retention wise, and the fitness businesses that are struggling to get clients pretty much have this in common. They are not supplying meal plans to their clients or members. So when it comes down to how much meal planning is worth to your business, I can say that with no doubt, it's a very valuable service that you should be providing. Now I say this with confidence, as I know you as a trainer have said probably to each and every one of your clients that they need to eat clean or they need to eat more healthily. Maybe they need to cut the calories out or pretty much something across those lines because you know that nutrition is the prime responsibility to many of the changes your clients will get. You might have heard of the 80-20 rule, which is 80% diet or 20% exercise, or you can't out-exercise a bad diet, as we all know that diet is important. So why do you as a trainer, why don't you do something about it to ensure your clients are on the correct path in regards to the nutrition? <laughs> if your client had access to calorie-specific meal plans, what could that actually mean for your business? Well, first of all, you move on from being a glorified exercise supervisor to being expert and a support of trust regarding your client's nutrition. Now, secondly, you can charge more for your services and can be one of the very few trainers that actually offer nutrition support and coaching at your gym or club. So now you position yourself above all the trainers. You know, prospective clients can see you as the better trainer with more services that clients need to have to get results you basically stand out from the crowd. This simplistic action of offering meal plans impacts your business in a way that you can have more prospective consults as well, more services, higher retention with your clients, better results, you get more testimonials and a higher referral traffic. So I'll ask you, how much is meal planning worth your business? Well, you're gonna be adding more income, more profits, and more ability to have freedom within your personal training business. That means you as a trainer can now be a successful PT business. So let me show you how you can actually use meal plans within your business and easily set your clients up in under 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump behind me to the computer and I'm gonna be doing a screen grab so you can see it all. And I'm gonna be talking to you as well and probably fast forward through the boring stuff, okay? So in this tutorial or this video that I'm creating for you guys and girls, I wanna show you how easily you can set up your clients in probably like five minutes, if anything. And you'll have access to how many calories they need to be eating, how many calories they're burning. And I'm gonna quickly show you some of the meal plans that they'll have access to and an easy way that they can actually log their foods as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna quickly add a member. So add a member, we're gonna add a member here. Let's just write. <laughs> And let's just go save. So it's only a few seconds it takes to actually create a member. Let's go to the program quickly. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that this person is a weight loss client. So weight loss, the timer is on. So it takes about seven minutes, but you can easily do this within a few seconds as well, guys. Um, a birthday of the client. Let's just go, there they are. Male, right-handed, there's smoke, no, time zone. Let's just say they're Australian, because it's, it's much easier for me. Where are we? Where the hell are we doing? Bedtime. Wake up. Let's change the metric. 85, what's to say there? 89. Height. Three. Now you can obviously track weight and body fat measurements here as well guys, but just for this demo, we're just gonna do it very quickly. Let's go next. Now medical history, I recommend that you go through this with your clients, just to see if they have any of these issues as well. So the physical activity readiness question, or the PARQ, something that you should go through with your clients before actually doing any of this as well. Now this is where the magic happens, okay? So let's just say this person is a beginner. Are they playing any sports? Let's just say no. Resistance training, well, let's just say less because they're a beginner. 
How do they you spend their day? You know, are they endurance athletes? Majority of people are gonna be around here, okay? So I'm gonna say four days just there. And how would you describe their diet? It's a regular diet. Now the 89, what kind of kiloage do they wanna get down to? Let's just say 75. That's their goal weight, okay? Now here's the cool thing. The client goes, I wanna do it in, you know, five weeks. Can it be done? See, it actually says here what the goal, should, you know, it's not possible within that five weeks. Personally, I wouldn't do 12 weeks myself. I probably would do 24 weeks. Your client has got a very relaxed, how you doing kind of situation where they like love partying, they love drinking on the weekend. You know, it's gonna take a lot longer. You know, they might be experience 500 grams of weight loss every week in the first couple of weeks, you know, new to a, due to a diet change or changes in their eating habits or the amount of exercise they're doing, but it will that eventually start plateauing as well. I like longer, best thing about it, that means you solidify how long they should be with you as well, okay? It tells us that they're roughly, expenditure throughout the day is 2,600, okay? Their lifestyle, that's what they've burnt so far today. So it's, it's two o'clock here today right now, so if I've been up since seven o'clock, that's how many calories I should have burnt, and that's how many calories I have left to burn as well. I've got my daily target. This is how many calories I should be roughly consuming every single day as well. And that's pretty cool. Now, one thing I do like here is my progress tracker. So based on my, based on everything, this is where I should be. So by that date, I should have hit my goal, okay? Now, let's just look at some of the um, foods as well. Let's see what kind of menus we've obviously got here. Now we've got a few different menu plans as well, which I like to have for my clients. We can obviously create customized menus as well, but these are specific to their calorie. So let's just look at something which is nice and yummy, uh, like a vegetarian meal. Let's just look something. Now this is basically what they should be eating throughout the day. See, roughly 2000 calories. And what was it that they need to eat on the summary page? So we're there, we're about there. But I wanna show you something which is really cool, which is the food logging for your clients as well. Because I know us humans, we're creatures of habits, aren't we? We're creatures of habits and we like to do stuff that doesn't deviate from existing plans. So for example, if your client was, you know, used to eating cereal in the morning and maybe an eggs and something like that, you can actually get them to log everything they're, they're actually doing because this is actually far more effective for clients that don't want to deviate from what they're currently doing, but knowing exactly how much you're eating, which is going to help them in achievement of their calorie goals. So for example, the client loves eggs in the morning, so let's just say they're still doing eggs in the morning. So we can actually see, let's just look at a whole fried egg. Yeah, it's a large egg as well. How many eggs are they roughly doing? They're gonna be doing three eggs in the morning, because that's what I do actually. And we know that's 277 calories that they're actually doing there. They might actually add toast to that as well. So let's just see, you've got white toast, garlic toast, French toast, whatever toast they wanna have. Let's just go the, you know, wheat bread toast, okay? How many slices did they have? They had two, okay? Enter it there. Now let's add a bit of avo. Okay, there's an avocado. We can do cup, slice, whatever it's gonna be. Let's just do... Avocado. Let's just change this to grams, okay? Because we in Australia love our grams because that's what we do. <laughs> let's just say they had 100 grams, okay? So now we know from there, that's how many calories the client has consumed, 594. But actually knowing that, your client's gonna be cool. I can't, you know, they can see that they have to eat roughly about another 1400 calories to hit their daily calorie um, target. So that's early morning snack or maybe make, make, it, make it a breakfast. And let's just go, they had a protein shake, okay? And the protein shake was, let's just say, because you know, not everyone has the, has the same protein shake. Let's just go quick calorie add. Let's just go to their protein shake. 
This is another cool feature. And it had a hundred or oh, it had 97 calories in. It. Okay, let's add that to um, a morning snack as well. Add. Okay. And let's go that had some strawberries as well. Strawberries roll. Let's go there. Now, how many grams did, oh, let's put it as grams. And let's just say they had about 150 grams of strawberries, okay? That was a morning snack, okay? Now lunch, what did they actually have? Let's just go some rice. So got brown rice. Cups, ounces, and whatever. I'm just gonna leave it as of that. Let's go some chicken. Ooh, how much do I have? Breast with skin roasted. Had some roasted chicken. They had a portion, but we could just say they had grams as well. So let's just go grams. And just say they had about 150 grams as well. So we come back up, it's 1,251 calories, okay? Now, afternoon snack, they might have had an apple, okay? Now, I'm gonna say this is a 200 gram apple. I'm not too sure how big this apple is or how big an apple is going to be, but it's a 200 gram apple, okay? And now for dinner, salmon. Some Atlantic salmon, what was it? What did they do? Was it raw sushi rolls? Let's just go that one okay and 50 grams and they wanted to be a bit fancy and add some couscous now if you type in cous cous does it come up that is the question so you have to find here if, it, if the couscous comes up now and search oh there's some couscous but is that what it is is that is that they saying calories now all couscous is made probably different probably not really different but let's just say Cup of servings. I've got a pack of couscous in front of me actually. Quickly grabbed it while I paused everything. Um, and let's just go a serving. So they say quarter cup. We're going to say a serving over here is 100 grams. And a serving on mine of 100 grams is 359. Let's see if that is going to be roughly similar. Oh, look at that. Couscous is made the same, guys. <laughs> So they've had that couscous as well. And now we're looking at what they're eating. So now they've hit 2,200 calories. So let's go add some broccoli. And we're gonna say they had about 100 grams of broccoli. <laughs> okay. So just looking at this guys and girls, we can obviously see just from this 2,055 calories. Now summary here, let's go summary. If I know that I was there, that looks, you can actually see that they've actually gone over by 100 calories. Or a little bit less. Okay? Now, if this was me and I was, you know, tracking absolutely everything, you know, everything that I'm doing throughout the day, I could actually see that for dinner, cool, for dinner, the couscous was 356. So let's just cut that down. Now we can cut out 100 calories from our diet by just having roughly about 50 grams of couscous there. Right there. We look at that, and now I'm under. So now your client goes, cool, I'm actually under. So I've got 91 calories left to eat, which could be maybe a protein shake at nighttime as well. Now this is the beauty of tracking and logging calories for your clients. This is why I love it. This is why your client's gonna get better results with you. And this is why many trainers need to add meal plans, but obviously a system that allows them to track the absolutely everything. I hope this helps, guys and girls. If you need any help, if you wanna get this program, you know what to do. Hit the apply button.